Global environmental change is bringing people and animals in closer contact. There are more international travellers every year, and there are simply more people on the planet every day. New diseases are emerging and spreading rapidly across traditional boundaries and even species. The Australian Biosecurity Cooperative Research Centre for Emerging Infectious Disease brings together science, government and industry to stay ahead of these threats across Australia and the Asia-Pacific region. In 2004, the ABCRC responded to the emergence of a highly pathogenic avian influenza. They supported the CSIRO Australian Animal Health Laboratory in creating and distributing a molecular test targeting avian influenza strains found in the Asia-Pacific. The CRC has supported a number of projects here at our laboratories in Geelong, but in this case uh, they were providing us with resources to develop a standardised test for avian influenza that we could use throughout Australia. And we were able to distribute this test to those laboratories that needed to respond in this case to equine in in influenza. In an example of one innovation building on another, the ABCRC's preparation for a pandemic was tested early when equine influenza hit Australia for the first time. We had a veterinarian at a property at Warwick just after lunch on a Saturday and we had a diagnosis that night. Getting that early diagnosis was critical to mounting our response quickly for equine influenza. In outbreak management, there are moments of decision that lay out pathways and set the goals. Queensland labs were ready to quickly and consistently test the large number of samples that were to come their way. The test that was developed for avian influenza is generic for influenza, so as soon as we knew that there was a suspicion of equine influenza, our laboratories were very quick to realise that they could use this avian influenza test for equine influenza, and so the system worked really well. By having this test at AAHL and at the State Diagnostic Labs, it was possible to scale up to quickly process the large numbers of samples needed near the areas of infection. This helped Australia aim for complete eradication of the disease. It enables us to detect infection in horses that had absolutely no signs of any clinical disease. At the same time, it enabled us to eliminate infection in other horses. So eradication of equine influenza from Australia was of really significant importance to our industry on a national basis. The Australian horse industry is about a million horses, um, generates something in excess of $3.5 billion a year of economic activity. With innovation, cooperation and the national readiness to rapidly and consistently test large numbers of samples, Australia is now armed with a new capacity to respond to avian or equine influenza. So not only were we able to use these very advanced tests, but we were able to use them in a large scale, testing large numbers of samples. And this is the first time that this has been done, not just in Australia, but really on a global basis. So a really good win for Australia.